Okay class, today's topic is the hardest parts of the earth. Okay? Oops, come on. Check out this whole pico pieces, bro. <laughs> Send it door, gentlemen. Quiet, please. I'm sorry, Mrs. Brown. Okay. <laughs> shh. I said shh. Wow, Mrs. Brown. I'm shocked. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. Who did this? Hmm? I said who stole my photo? Oh, I know. An identity thief did that. And he stole not only your photo, but your entire identity, just for five bucks. What? But I'm sorry, how? Let's find it out. I would start with the photo. Did you post it on the internet? I have this kind of private photo only on my phone. And I have no idea how someone got it. That was easy. The scammer got into your phone while you were drinking coffee. Just coffee? But wait, 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 what do you mean by that? They used the USB charging station you connected to in the coffee shop. It's called juice jacking. You simply want to recharge your phone, so you plug it into the station. But what you're actually doing is helping a scammer get all the files on your phone. Hackers deliberately hijack and modify such stations in order to jack or juice up all the information from your device. Like juice from an orange. Excuse me? You mean he downloaded more than just one photo? Yep. And what did he do next? He created your new identities. Hi, handsome. I really like you too. Can you spare some money for my handbag? This Emily Brown, for example, milks men for money on dating apps. Okay. I have late stage of cancer. I need money for my surgery. It's urgent. Please, help me survive. Proposed. It gives me the grips. But why this grandma choose me? Oh, that was random. They just needed someone's identity to make money. And all these copies are just the tip of the iceberg. Meaning? Why do you think the scammer really got into your phone? What is that? That is the answer. The scammer got into your phone to get access to your PayPal account. But how? I couldn't even imagine that that's possible. Well, Scammers love PayPal accounts. Even PayPal representatives admit that. In the last year, four and a half million accounts were created illegally. Can you imagine how many more accounts were hacked, just like yours? Oh my God, first my personal photo, then my account. How am I supposed to survive all this? And that's not all, Emily. They have already collected a whole case file on you. What? What else do you think an identity thief has on you? I have no idea. Oh no, this is my social security number. But how? My trash? Mm -hmm. How come? Because here, he was able to find a copy of the document from the hospital, which has your... SSN. Emily. Why didn't you properly dispose all the important documents, especially those with your social security number on it? That's so terrible. So many loans can have been opened in my name. Yes, they could have. But your social security number was used for something else. Oh, looks like you've got a letter, Emily. I've been summoned to court, but I have never broken any law and I always pay my taxes, so... Yes, you do. But the other Emily doesn't. It looks like the scammer used your social security number to deceive the police. Do you want to know what you're suspected of? I could go to 
jail. That's what the identity thief is counting on. That you will be the one to go to the jail, not him. Then we need to find this camera who uses my identity. But what makes you think it's the same person? There are too many people behind these camps, Emily. It's almost impossible to find them all. One of them hijacked your phone, another one went through your trash and sold everything on the dark net. The dark side on the internet, where you can buy everything. Emily Brown's credit card, $25. Emily Brown's driver's license, $20. Emily Brown's social security number, Five dollars. But uh, how can I actually protect myself from this scammer? Well, you can't protect yourself completely, but you can be more careful with your documents and personal data. Right. Every 40 seconds, someone in the world has his identity stolen. And your personal photo is not the only thing that identity scammer is after. So if any of you is a victim of identity fraud, Contact the Federal Trade Commission. The FTC will collect the details of your situation and offer a solution. Knock, knock, who's there? Surprise, it's me. I'm Lily Likova, and as you know, I'm the one of the main cast of Traumatizing Project. So guys, if you'd like to see more videos with me, just let me know about that. Leave your comments here and of course subscribe our channel and stay with us. It's really important to us, really. So I hope to see you in the next episode. Don't lose your chance.